So what we're demonstrating here is a Celestron SLT mount attached not to a Celestron SLT telescope, but rather to this 900 megahertz Yagi antenna. And uh, this antenna uh, is counterweighted with a couple of two and a half pound uh, weights off the end. This is you know, clearly something which could be user adjustable. We're driving it off of a SkyFi here sitting on the grounds uh, from our Mac copy of Sky Safari. Uh, which we are going to have uh, go chase after, oh, let's pick a good satellite, uh, maybe one of these Orbcom uh, communication satellites. Okay, so we're going to just say, go chase it, and, you know, we're clearly capable of tracking uh, the, the satellite <clears throat> just as fast as it's moving across the sky. Nothing in the sky actually moves this fast here. So I think what we should do now is uh, listen for some satellite communication, and uh, I'm going to move over here to uh, Ruslan's laptop. And um, what we're going to do is, as soon as we get acquisition, we should see some activity here on the um, on the screen here. And in fact, we're, there's a lot of reflection. Do you want to just maybe let's stand differently? Yeah, yeah there you go. That's a lot better. And I don't know our things. Okay, yeah. It looks like we have some signal there, and uh, that's uh, this is really great, guys. This is some actual satellite transmission we're getting right now. Um, is that Scott? Do you know if that's decodable? Uh, probably not at the moment. Yeah. Um, I don't know what settings okay. uh, it's picking up on, but um, in theory, it is. Okay, yeah, great. So, you know, and basically what we're showing you here is that, you know, this kind of inexpensive, um, uh, you know, amateur equipment can be used for things other than telescopes. And it looks like our satellite is probably about to set. So um, that's the idea. I hope you guys enjoy.